I flew back to Oregon. I was in a wheelchair. I was carried on and off the plane. My mom helped me learn how to walk again, literally step by step by, you know, placing a wooden chair in front of my wheelchair, you know, you take one step to here and take two steps to here. But eventually after 18 months um, of rehab and rehabilitation, I kept that triathlon goal front and center. I'd moved to Chicago to take a job and I signed up for the Chicago triathlon. And um, I ended up racing the Chicago triathlon, my first triathlon ever. And to my complete and utter surprise, I didn't just finish the, the race, which was my goal, but I actually won the entire Chicago triathlon placing first out of about, you know, 5,000 other people, um, on the day. Um, and you know, it's an interesting moment cause it'd be easy to be like, Oh, well then I must've just thought, Oh, I mean, I'm impervious. I'm some superhuman athlete. I can do whatever I want, you know, jump a flaming jump rope, get burned, come back when, you know, ridiculously big triathlon race, but that's not where my mind went. And when I've all, you know, even over all the years that have gone by since then, when I reflect on that moment, I reflect on this moment with my mom, like wondering what would have happened had my mom not forced me to switch to that possible mindset, switch towards that positive outcome. Um, where would my life be now? I certainly wouldn't be sitting here with 10 world records. I certainly wouldn't be sitting here and talking to you most likely, um, you know, who knows, you know, where my body, mind and soul would have been. Cause I think I was on the precipice of, of really immense emotional defeat, mm-hmm. but it also taught me that as humans, not just me, every single person. And, and again, the 12 hour walk, the book I just wrote is about every single person and our capacity um, to unlock these wells, these deep wells and reservoirs of untapped potential potential inside of us to achieve extraordinary things, to find depth and fulfillment and strength um, within ourselves. It all exists there. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Um, and unfortunately, I had to, le- to learn that lesson the hard way. And, and sometimes I think that that's probably the way that us as humans have to learn things. We have to be in intense, extreme situations um, to, to take some hard-earned lessons along our, our, our path and our journey.